crack welcome to today's episode my name is david kelly i'm the irish guy vlogs thank you so much for joining me today i really hope you're all doing good out there with all this coronavirus stuff today i'm really just going to be doing an update of what i've been up to i did have plans to do a bigger video but it's not going to be out until next week because there's a lot that has to go into it i'll talk more about it at the end but uh other things that have happened to me other interesting things that have happened to me so i was here at home last week and a pack of chemicals oh this must be the art supplies that i that i ordered online and this was the packet for chem and uh so i opened it up and guess what was inside? <laughs> I'm, I'm still kind of shocked by it. Come on, get out. A potato masher. <laughs> what? I, did, I didn't order a potato masher. So uh, straight away I rang my dad, did you order a potato masher? Uh, no, why? Parcel came to the house and uh, there's a potato masher in it and I didn't order one. No, <laughs> I didn't order one. So I rang my mother, no, that wasn't me. Okay. And then I was thinking, did someone hack my bank account and send me a potato masher? There's some lad out in Indonesia and he's hacking my bank account, but he thought I could do with a potato masher. I had absolutely no clue who sent it to me. It became the mystery of the potato masher. I was honestly stumped, all right? And then I was thinking, see, when I was younger, <laughs> when I was younger, people used to call me Spud. <laughs> and I was thinking, is this like some kind of threat? <laughs> Someone's threatening me? Yeah, totally gonna mash you or something. I was literally trying to think of every possibility because I did not order a potato masher online. All right, so I'll tell you what happened. So on the parcel, there was a number. That was the only bit of information I had. I had no other clue about who sent this. It was literally just this phone number. Someone's like setting up some kind of saw fucking scenario here. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna ring this number, I'm gonna collapse, and I'm gonna wake up in a warehouse and there's a cage on my head, and all of a sudden I have to eat my own face in order to get, or whatever. <laughs> Okay, I'm trying to like piece this puzzle together. So anyway, I rang the number, it was off. Oh my god, this is getting even worse. I called the number again, it was off. I was like, oh my god. So when I was actually talking to my mum, I was telling her, I have no idea what, what the hell is going on, who sent this? And the thing is, because it was sent to my own house, I knew that it was someone that had to have my home address, or someone that got to someone that had my home address. It was like, was one of my family kidnapped? And <laughs> straight away she said, uh, oh, it's probably someone who saw your videos and could see that you needed a potato masher. I was like, what? And she said, in one of your videos where I made the mashed bacon, if you want to watch it, you can watch it up here. But I've been this bacon and mashed potato ice cream kind of thingy, and I didn't have a potato masher. I was using a bottle, and then I was using a spoon. And she said, maybe one of your subscribers saw it and knew that you needed a potato masher and sent it to you. Hmm. There's a theory. The crazy thing is that she was actually right. Turns out that one of my subscribers, Carrie, saw that I needed a potato masher. She's friends with my aunt Bernie in America. She asked Bernie for my address. It was just so mysterious. And so, just out of nowhere, I was just baffled. So Carrie, if you're watching this, <laughs> thank you so much for the potato masher. It's actually a really good quality one. And it's from Debenhams, it's very fancy. It's very fancy indeed. I'd actually bought one in the meantime between the making that video and now. So now I have two potato mashers. There's another one downstairs. I, I won't be short of potato mashers. My potatoes, oh, I'll tell ya, they'll be getting mashed every day. I'll be mashing everything. Mashed chicken, mashed pork chops, like, just, uh, just do it all. Why not? Why not? Like, the mystery of the potato masher was solved. About 20 minutes later, I was uptown, Kerry rang me back, and then she told me, and I was like, oh my god, this is just... <laughs> and the thing is, if she hadn't called me back, I would have made an entire video about it, you know? Like, gone full film the war kind of detective. Who could have sent this? Did I have enemies? Was there someone out to get me? <laughs> you know, that kind of thing, but uh, thanks, Kerry. Appreciate it. Uh, other things I've been up to, and are something that I actually want to get into soon. I used to do a lot of drawing, like I used to be crazy about art. And I used to do a lot of pencil sketches and colouring and stuff like that. I really want to get back into it. I got a sketch pad, and I got like a set of pencils, and I got some really cool markers. So my, my idea is that I'm going to do some sketches for like the first 10 people that comment down below. So if you want a sketch from me, I'll send it to you wherever you are in the world. It'll just be like an envelope with a picture in it, and maybe like a little letter for me to say thanks. But uh, you just need to be subscribed and you need to tell me what you want the picture to be. So if it's Dustin Hoffman drinking a cup of tea on a giraffe, that's what I'll draw. Give me random stuff to draw. I'll draw to the best of my ability. But it might be tiny. It might be like this size, but it'll be Dustin Hoffman on a giraffe drinking a cup of tea. So yeah. Like I've never done anything like this before and it's a while since I drew a picture. The quality might not be the best. <laughs> and I'm not going to show you any of my old art because uh, I, I want it to be a surprise. So you have to be subscribed and you have to let me know what you want in the comments down below. And yeah, this should be fun. Go, go as random as you want. And it's going to be really colourful too. 
and it doesn't matter where you are in the world if you're in Siberia and you can receive letters I will send you a picture you know what I'll even take pictures of the drawing so even if it doesn't arrive I'll still be able to send you a picture of the drawing Sorted. So earlier last week I was a small bit sick and it wasn't any bit coronavirus related. My balance was a bit off my ear, I'm sorry, this ear, was making like really weird clicking and stuff like that and sometimes when I get up fast my balance would be really off, felt a bit nauseous. Literally don't want to go anywhere near doctors. I don't want to clog up the system with me being a bit dizzy when there's people out there dying. It was weird for a few days but the kind of upside to that is that just sitting still in one place for a while has been nice and I've been playing a lot more guitar because of that. So I've just been able to just sit here play some guitar just relax and also get better at playing guitar so I'm gonna give a couple of shout outs to uh, one of them is to a channel my friend Skylar I've given him a shout out before but his birthday is coming up on Sunday and I wanted to say happy birthday Skylar really hope you have an awesome day man you've been really supportive to my channel here really good friend the past year and yeah I just hope you have a great day loads of cake loads of beer and hope you're all safe over in Tennessee and if you want to see Skylar's channel he's building a house at the minute and uh, he's got some really cool videos he's a really good guy and he's really fun Funny as well so i leave a link to his channel down in the description and uh, if you want to go and subscribe wish him happy birthday or whatever my second shout out is a little bit of a funny one so i met a friend of mine a couple of weeks ago serena and her her son leon was with her i know that he watches my videos because i met him at christmas time and he said it to me but he, anyway leon was with his mother and he was like can i have a shout out can you give me a shout out on one of your videos uh okay <laughs> and his mother was starting to go red can i get a shout out i was like yeah i'll give you a shout out on one of the videos so leon <laughs> so leon if you're watching this is your shout shout out thank you for watching my videos thank you for being a subscriber and uh yeah i hope you enjoyed the shout out <laughs> is that how i do a shout out properly i i don't know i'm feeling a little bit better the past few days like my balance is pretty good like, i couldn't really go out that much as as much as i'm used to going out or at least having some bit of social life even going to the radio station on a tuesday or just even being out around in the woods whatever you know it's just being locked indoors has made a difference to me mentally and because of that physically as well less energy levels and stuff like that but yeah because i've been locked indoors i've decided to do like a big clean up as well so i've got the black bags ready for old clothes and things like that and uh, i don't really like cleaning i don't think anyone does but it's got to be done and sure why not do it now but yeah, as i was saying earlier about next week's video it's not really going to be like a huge video but it's just that there's going to be a lot in it and it's going to be a comedy heavy video it's basically going to be stuff to do indoors but there's a lot in it and i've shot some of it already i still have more to shoot you'll see it next friday it's going to be pretty funny i think anyway i was laughing writing it hopefully you'll be laughing watching it as well <laughs> But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for me for this week. I do appreciate you watching. I hope you're all safe. I hope you're like watching my other videos that you can watch up here as well. And don't don't forget, if you want a picture from me, no matter where you are in the world, I'll draw like a personal picture and a little note to say thank you. All you have to do is be subscribed and let me know what you want the picture to be. It could be Michael Jordan eating a croissant in Finland while fishing with an Eskimo. Oh, is that offensive? But like, it can just... Make it random and let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. See you all again next Friday. Bye.